10 Abandoned Mega Projects in Africa Despite the fact that several international organizations such as the World Bank, the United Nations, among others, have implemented several multi-billion dollar projects across Africa, many of these mega projects did not see the light of day. Many mega projects were not just incompatible with the societies or countries being implemented in, but most of them also failed disastrously. Projects in Africa fail not only because of its management, but also because of the sheer complexity of these specific project settings. Specifically, projects fail because of lack of competence or knowledge in project management, and also because of corruption, poor policy planning and implementation and their complex context. Here are some of the 10 abandoned and wasteful mega projects in Africa. But first, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. 10. Egypt's Toshka New Valley Project The Toshka New Valley Project was planned to develop agricultural production and to create new jobs away from the Nile Valley by creating a second Nile Valley. The project was meant to help Egypt with its growing urban population and most described as the new hope of era for Egypt. It was intended to house more than 3 million residents and to increase Egypt's arable land by 10%. The desert acted as a major hindrance to the project. In 2005, the government announced the abortion of the project. 9. Mother Fronten Mega City $8 billion In 2014, Chinese development group announced its intentions to build an $8 billion city, around $84 billion land at the time in Mother Fronten, east of Johannesburg. Development was splashed as a smart city which would rival many world cities. The project was worth to be built in a 1,600 hectares of land for over 15 years to be completed in 2030. However, after announcing their construction of the project in 2015, news coming from the project fell silent and by the end of the year, the project was dead. According to researchers, the project failed because of lack of visions between the developer and the city of Johannesburg. 8. Rollback Malaria Across Africa – Over $500 million Rollback Malaria was launched in 1988 bringing together a multilateral, bilateral, non-governmental and private organizations. It made a clear pledge to curb the death rate of malaria by 2010 to half. Roback Malaria, established in 1988, aimed to have malaria incidents in 2010. The program served Africa and is needed $1.9 billion a year from Africa to slow the disease and by 2002, the Africans have only come with $200 million a year. By 2012, the infection rate has risen to 12% thereby leading to the abandonment of the project. 7. The Ghana STX Building Project $10 billion Housing Project Many Ghanaians were shocked when they heard in the December 30, 2011 about the failure and abandonment of $10 billion housing project between the government of Ghana and STX Construction Limited of South Korea. The project was supposed to lead to the construction of 200,000 houses in Ghana in five years. The agreement was signed in 2009 and hailed by some as the best thing to ever happen to Ghana. A 12-member dedication led by then Minister of Water Resources and Housing signed the STX housing project in 2009. From research findings, causes of the failure of the project included poor management by the Ghanaian government, effective government management was actually missing as government could not manage it for. Corruption was probably a contribution factor and poor planning was also a huge problem. Number 6. Chad Cameroon Oil Pipeline $4.2 million The Chad Cameroon Petroleum Development and Pipeline Project involved the construction of a 1,070km pipeline to transport crude oil from three fields in southwestern Chad to a floating facility 11 km off the Cameroon coast. The pipeline has been completed and first oil was achieved in July 2003, several months ahead of schedule. The project cost a whopping $4.2 million but it got abandoned as soon as it was constructed. The pipeline was the biggest development project in Africa when it was completed in 2003. However, President Davis' government announced in 2005 that oil money would go toward the general budget and the purchase of weapons, or else oil would be expelled. The president spent the oil money on regime survival and rigged election. 5. Pinnacle Tower, Kenya it started as an ambitious project to build Africa's tallest building, but three years after a launch attended by President Uhuru Kenyatta, all there is at the site is a massive gaping hole causing danger to lives and property in Nairobi's upper hill. Had things gone according to plan, today an imposing structure known as a pinnacle would be standing tall along Upper Hill Road, 
with concrete, glass and steel being piled up to push it towards a breathtaking 300 meters, dwarfing every building ever erected on the continent. However, the project had long stalled, with water and debris filling up an excavation that had been dug to accommodate a four-level basement. A front-facing banner conceals the massive hole, but parts on the sides are unfenced, raising safety concerns. Worse still, the nation has learned some of those occupying nearby buildings have complaints to the authorities that the abandoned site is affecting their structures, with some reporting cracks attributed to the excavated area. For Millennium Tower, Nigeria The project was initiated in 2005 by Olisegun Obasanjo administration. It was designed to be the tallest tower in Abuja at 170 meters and at a cost of about $2.5 billion. For many years, government did not make any budget provision for the complex, thereby forcing Salini Nigeria Limited, the Italian firm handling the construction to suspend work. The tower was designed by Manfredi Nicoletti and is part of the Nigeria National Complex, which also includes the Nigerian Cultural Center, an eight-story, low-rise, pyramid-shaped cultural center. The project was actually planned to be completed in 2011, in time for the capital's 20th birthday. The company admitted that the delay in completing the project was occasioned by inadequate funding from the federal government. Number 3. Modern Front End New City Project South Africa In 2014, Chinese development group Zendai Developments announced its intention to build an $8 billion city in Modern Front End in the east of Johannesburg. The development was pegged as a smart city which would rival Santon with nine functional zones, including a CBD, entertainment center, and residential and educational districts. The project was earmarked to be built on the 1,600 hectare piece of land over 15 years, housing approximately 30,000 families and creating up to 200,000 fixed jobs for the local community. However, after announcing the start of construction in 2015, with some infrastructure development making headway the following year, news coming from the project fell silent by mid-2016 and by the end of the year, the project was dead. 2. Al Nu Tor, Morocco The Al Nu Tor is a cancelled 540 meter skyscraper that was to be built in Casablanca, Morocco. If built, it would have been the tallest building in Africa. Conceived on the continental scale, the Al Nu Tor was intended to house the African market of both raw and precious materials, thus becoming a strong emblem of the entire continent's new dynamics. Covering an area of 300,000 square meters on 114 floors, this mixed-use tower was to accommodate a 200-suite luxury hotel, a trading platform, a conference hall, and an expansive art gallery, as well as an astonishingly 100-meter tall atrium that hollows the tower's base. The concept of the tower was created by a French designer, Amidi Santalo, based in Dubai. The owner is Sheikh Tarek Bin Laden, the half-brother of Osama Bin Laden. The project was cancelled in 2018. 1. Microsoft Digital Villages in South Africa On 9th March 1997, Bill Gates reportedly launched the Digital Villages concept in the Black Township of Soweto, to which made headline news by its mass uprising in 1977. The township suffered and probably stole service from extreme poverty. It was reported in the Spokesman's Review, a daily newspaper in Spokane. Washington, USA, that when Gates visited in 1997, the computer could cost as much as a house and few people would think of going online. The Launch Center was South Africa's first free access digital village founded by Microsoft Local Computers, Companies and US Development Organization Africa. The concept was that the $100,000 computer package housed in the Shiawelo Community Center should give the township's poor residents a link to the information age. By then, it still became one of Africa's failed and abandoned projects as it was reported that even by 2013, there was hardly any evidence of the digital villages across South Africa. They worked hard for a while, but collapsed soon as possible as a sponsor stopped funding the activities. Thanks for watching and this concludes our coverage of the 10 abandoned projects in Africa. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and also share it with your friends.